Hey, and congratulations on getting access to this video course. We're going to talk about how to turn your idea into a WordPress plugin. Now, we're not really going to talk about hiring anybody or anything like that. We're going to talk about a very crucial process that most people tend to forget about. So a lot of people tend to go from idea to trying to hire a programmer. And that's the wrong way to go about this. And the reason being is because a lot of times, if you do not write your idea and turn that into the necessary project specifications that a programmer would understand, your cost will actually be higher or you will get a lousy programmer that will say, yes, I can do that. I can program your idea. And then months later, you find out that the programmer doesn't know what they're doing and it's just a mess. So that's the reason why this is a process where we want to take the, the idea and turn it into a visual flow chart. We want to develop the user interface and we want to figure out how to communicate that properly to the right programmer. By doing this, you're going to attract the right programmer instead of the wrong programmer. All right. So first things first, this is video number one, which is the introduction. And I want to start by talking about a goal. The goal here, like I said, is to create project specifications that any programmer will understand. Yes, this process might be a little boring, but it's going to save you a lot of money. Instead of spending thousands of dollars, you could be spending, you know, 500 or even 1000 in the long run. Instead of wasting time and actually this taking four to five months to create, you could save time. So this is all about how to save time and money by doing things right. Get this wrong. And like I said, you're going to pay more. You're going to attract low skilled people that are going to say, yes, I can do anything. And you're going to not going to know what to do. You're going to say, yes, you're going to give in and you're going to get the wrong person. So I want to make sure that you get this right and you're going to pay less and attract the right person for this job. So quickly, I want to talk about mindset first. I really want you to focus on the how the software solves a problem. Don't focus on how much money am I going to make or how profitable is this going to be? Focus on how the software solves a problem. And yes, that's fine when you're trying to figure out what the software is going to be about. You want to make sure that it's going to be profitable, but at the same time, you want to make sure that it solves a major problem because that's where your money is going to be. So solution comes first, money will follow later. Now here's a quick overview of what's inside this video course. Video one is obviously this particular video. Video number two is going to be researching a profitable plugin idea. So we are going to look at profitable plugins. We're going to look at why they are profitable plugins. So you can get an idea of what your best plugin is going to be. So if you have a plugin, great. You probably could skip this process, but it might be good to watch this so that you have an idea to make sure your plugin is profitable, right? If you don't have an idea, this is a great video for you. Video number three is verifying your idea. We're going to make sure that it is indeed profitable. Video number four, we're going to talk about digging deeper. We want to analyze the situation so that we make sure that we are doing our due diligence. Video number five is determining what the software does, which is a crucial part. This is a pretty much a make it or break it because this is the reason why somebody is going to buy your plugin. Video number six is list to flow. We're going to take the list that we created in the previous video and we're going to map it out by creating a flow chart. And the reason being is because you want to see it text wise in a list. You want to see it visually and you want to see the user interface, which is video number seven. Video number eight is writing your specifications. So basically the whole goal of this video course is to get to this point. 
And of course, last but not least, once you have your project WordPress plugin specification in hand, we move on to finding programmers in video nine. Now, I'm not really going to dive too much into this. I really want to focus on how to find the right programmer, what characteristics you should look for. I'm not really going to go to a site and show you how necessarily to hire somebody. That might be a topic for a different day, but what's crucial is what most people forget about is how do you find the right programmer? What to look for in a programmer? So that way you can create the right job post wherever you decide to go. Now let's talk about what you need to get started. Obviously you're not going to need to have a lot of tools for this particular practice and process, but you're going to need a way to map things out, whether it be a flowchart system or a mind mapping software. We recommend lucid chart, which is what we're going to be using. However, if you want to use a mind mapping software like XMind or even a paper, if you are organized, that's fine. But we highly recommend Lucidchart just because it's really, really easy to map things out. And you'll see what I mean when I actually jump right in. And of course, you're going to need to have an open mind. A lot of people come into this thinking that they know a lot or thinking that, oh, I've got this idea. I just want to jump straight in. No, none of that. You really have to come here with an open mind and with the thought process that, okay, profitability aside, money aside, let's focus on what problem that we are solving. Don't bring any assumptions because assumptions are very dangerous and they actually get us in trouble because we think we have an idea of how things work. So I want you to come here with an open mind, with the assumption that everything is being start from scratch. All right. All right. So ready? Let's go.